going to get worse and it's going to keep more frequent. And if you're going to continue to live here, you need to rebuild. So this was great. Uh, the result, uh, no, no casualties were lost, but this got the attention of the uh, World Bank Organization. So Suzanne uh, is here. Thank you so much. Like she reached out and said, "Would you like to host the World Bank workshop in Guatemala?" We were like, Absolutely, yeah. Can, uh, can we in Punta Rana? Like, and we were so grateful that they were open to having it in the village. So we're converting the whole village into a, a bamboo paradise island for a week. You know, and everything, uh, and we're building something really amazing. So. Uh, we're getting some of the best builders, master builders, Peter Van Lengen, Martin Mortera, to come up and host a four-day workshop. Uh, and we're going to build a Punta Rara community hall, Punta Rara Plaza. It's going to be a, 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 an emblem of how villages can adapt to climate change. Because just like Punta Rara, there's thousands of villages along the Central American coast. So maybe some of you don't know our isthmus. Our isthmus is a thin piece of territory that connects two large land masses, uh, south and North America. So all over the coast, we have two, 20 to 30 million extremely fertile uh, hectares, like perfectly out for bamboo. We have commerce-friendly governments, uh, free trade agreements with, with with Europe, low shipping rates, uh, and business-friendly regulatory environment. And quite importantly, sparsely inhabited, mostly by low-income communities. So. That's a perfect place to grow them. We have a goal of just hitting 3% of that empty vast territory, 1 million hectares in Central America. And what would we bring to those communities? Central America is now increasingly battered by tropical storms. Uh, we would give these people this. This was Hurricane Julia that hit last year, that I want to show you what it was about. So this is becoming much more common, and uh, we are going to give them shoreline restoration, multiple sources of income, climate-proof building material, and not to mention, you know, a female-friendly value chain. So multiple sources of income. Females are helping to seed, plant, and reproduce bamboo. And right now we're uh, starting uh, a new building to create the world's best and highest quality nature-based carbon offset. So that we can help a lot of communities get uh, get these funds to start new bamboo plantations that are going to be. Uh, Grown with agroforestry systems that we've also studied thanks to CSFDP. So, contribute to food security, contribute to biodiversity from the beginning. So, each of those plants, mostly women run, have a picture of your GPS coordinate, and we're going to be able to track that as per mother plant every year as it captures carbon. So, I'm almost done. Uh, we completely believe that bamboo is the future, uh, the future of construction is in biofibers. And that bamboo is the king and queen of biofibers. Uh, and this is a 20 story building, 18, sorry, in Norway. This will soon be bamboo. Like, uh, so what if it takes another 10 years, another couple million dollars of structural code? It's gonna happen. Like, and this is the most massive industrial transformation humanity will ever undergo. Like, it's our entire built environment. And it's gonna look like this. And it's gonna look made of bamboo. And when that happens, we're gonna need much more than one million hectares uh, here in Africa, India, Southeast Asia, the global south. Millions of hectares will be to build our society again. And we're gonna to need to grow as much bamboo as everywhere we can and as best we can. So I invite you to